Hi, I'm here at my space right now. Um, it's more bad news. The um, trailer is having to be moved. Um, this was a space I was going to live. I called uh, the landline company. Um, as far as landline and DSL that I do require, um, because I can't use mobile stuff, uh, CenturyLink, and they really screwed me over very big time. Um, I first told them to do a loop test on the line, which is where they actually have tech support test the line to make sure that the uh, line works and it lets you know what the speed of the internet is on that particular line. So I had them test space 51, which I'm in now, all the way down to space 59, way down at the end. I had them test all nine spaces and they told me that they tested great and that there would be 12 megs of um, DSL here. And um, as it turns out, that was a lie. I must have confirmed it like 10 times. So I was out hundreds of dollars to like tow this, um, $300 to rent the space because there were certain fees and things. I did get some of the fees back, but I didn't get the couple hundred dollars of space rent back. Um, I'm having to move it now because up until the day that I, I sat here the day they were supposed to turn service on and waited for them and the technician didn't come. I actually had to use a cell phone, which I'm really intolerant to, um, to try to call them, and I ended up getting really sick from that, and so now it's the following week, and I'm able to do something about getting the trailer out of here. It's, it has to be moved now, and um, it's just really, really sad because it's going to have to go into storage because I don't have another space. I'm really needing to be out of the space I am in. I'm just really, really getting sick and not able to do any more right now. Um, so I, I don't even know if I'll be able to be up and around in the next couple of days. So I'm having it winterized and I'm just going to have to pay to move it again. And it's been like a lot of money. One thing in Arizona with what they did about lying to me about having it and stuff, the um, Public Utilities Commission over there is going to be doing something and they may even have me file charges against CenturyLink for fraud. So I don't know where that's going to go, but oh, this is New Mexico and in New Mexico one thing about the state, it's a lovely state, but nobody's held accountable for anything that they do. And so you know, it's like I'm out all this money and it's just a big mess. I can't do anything now at this point. Um, I've kind of thrown a lot of money away with this trailer. So, um, this is where I'm at. I'm moving it and uh, going from there. And I do plan to have this as my home. I know that after three times of CenturyLink, there's no way that I can actually choose to live in the area that I want to live in. I'm going to have to pick an area maybe in northern Arizona or northern New Mexico that's serviced by either Windstream or Frontier because there's just no way of getting CenturyLink to do a landline and phone. And when you're electrosensitive, you have to have a landline and a phone. You can't use mobile stuff. Um, as I saw, just making one phone call out of here, I just ended up so sick, you know, having that phone, that mobile phone in my face. And so... Um, you know, it, it would be foolish for me to try to go into renting a space in another CenturyLink area because they're only going to do the same thing again. Um, from what a tech told me that works for CenturyLink, all they want to get is their commission. They lie, they steal, they push to get that commission for making the order, whether it's a valid order or whether it can be serviced or not. And people make decisions. They buy homes you know, after doing their homework, they rent spaces after doing their homework, and like me, they move trailers after doing their homework. And I do my homework very well. I check three and four times before doing anything, and I verify it. So I even have a, like a written order in writing um, from CenturyLink. But it's it's not enough. There's just no working with that company, no knowing between their lies and, you know, what's true and what's not. So it's like, I can pretty much assume that if it's an area served by CenturyLink, I'm probably not going to get landline or DSL there, and I need to go to another company's area where I can get those things. So I'm looking for another another area. I want to stay in New Mexico or Arizona, preferably Arizona. 
but it's going to have to be somewhere that's serviced by Frontier. It can't be, you know, where, you know, I move in and I might get service or not. I mean, I think it's really horrible what these companies do. I don't think they should get away with it. And I'm going to do everything I can to, like, see that they're held accountable. Um, so that's where it is. I mean, that's the heater installed. It's, it's all pretty exciting. I mean, I feel really good sitting here, and I can just, you know, imagine what it would be like living here. And, you know, I try to just hold that positive thought um, of that. And... Um, this is the valve so I can empty my black water without um, having to go outside so on my bad days when I can barely get out of bed. If that thing gets full, it can be emptied. So I've done a lot. I've come a long way, I guess, so far of making the trailer what I need it to be. And um, we're going to finish winterizing and moving it um, to storage. It's just going to go across the park. So, oh, somebody moved the trailer and I'm in it. So, <laughs> looks like I might be going for a ride. Um, if you like this, subscribe and have a great day.